Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Giselle and I review fragrances. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy my content. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. So guys, today I have for you 12 fragrances for winter date nights. So if you're interested, grab a cup of coffee, cup of tea, glass of wine, and stay tuned. Let's get started by none other than Angel's Share. Actually, I did a full review about this fragrance. I'll link the, the video here. I'm not gonna go into deep detail about notes and everything because I have 12 fragrances and I don't want you guys to get bored. So I'll go on a higher level, but I, I hope you guys can get a good idea of what each of these fragrances are. So Angel's Share is the most boozy, intoxicating fragrance in the market to me. It reminds me a lot of other two fragrances. One of those is also from by Killian. It's called Back to Black. Very boozy. When it comes to boozy fragrances, nobody beats by Killian. This is super gourmand, cognac and cinnamon based. They are really, really prominent. The dry down is amazing. You can smell more, a little bit of the vanilla kicking in, but it's not really, really strong. Cognac is all the way through. It, all the time this fragrance will last on your skin, you will still smell the cognac and the cinnamon. This is an attention grabber. This is for, if you want to be the center of attention, if you want to get noticed, you have to, to wear Angel's Share. Smells like caramelized pears, as I said before. It's very, very boozy, very addictive. It smells really, really expensive. There's a lot of detail in the in the design, this really reminds me of a Baccarat crystal whiskey or scotch glass. Amazing, amazing, amazing fragrance. Very, very appropriate for date nights, especially in the colder ones. Boozy, boozy, boozy. I still, it's a very low fragrance, but I don't think it's an offensive fragrance. I can't imagine people disliking this, especially because the dry down is slightly it has vanilla. Everybody seems to be attracted to vanilla, but it's not as loud. It also has sandalwood. Sandalwood gives this fragrance a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of depth and roundness. So it's not sharp. It's not harsh. Gorgeous. Very, very, very sexy fragrance. Angel's Share by Killian. The second one, Brasilia Oro by Profumi Del Forte. I also mentioned this fragrance in a video I will link you here in my collab with Pika for date night fragrances as well, especially for Valentine. But this is a one of a kind, guys. The first time I tried this fragrance was over 10 years ago and I still couldn't get this fragrance off my mind. It's stunning. Actually, it's, uh, as I mentioned, it's by Profumi Del Forte. It's an Italian niche house and when they created this fragrance, they, they wanted to evoke the spirit of gold, which is considered the most noble of the metals. And yeah, this is what they wanted to create. They really discarded a lot of formulas before arriving to, to this juice. So it took a, a while to develop this formula, but it's stunning. It has a fruity opening, a floral core, and a balsamic resinous type of dry down. It has plum, it has strawberries, very prominent both, especially the strawberries. It has orchid, it has vanilla, it has jasmine. It also has sandalwood. Sandalwood always gives fragrances that creaminess. It's stunning, it's super sweet. It also has Peru balsam. Uh, the Peru balsam is, um, it's a balsam, a uh, resin, but it's very, very thick. It's syrupy, it's very, very aromatic. So when fragrances have Peru balsam, you can think of a very rich, dense type of fragrance, very decadent, and this is it. I absolutely love it, and the bottle itself is stunning. Brasilia Orum by Profumi Del Forte. So in third place, I have a very unknown fragrance from the house of Montal, which is Boise Fruité. This is a very different fragrance, very unique, even within the Montal fragrances, it's very unique, but I haven't smelled anything like this in the, in the market. Totally different. 
it's a fruity woody let me let me spray more it's a fruity woody fragrance it's very bright and sharp in the opening definitely unisex although it leans more feminine but it's very bright in the opening you can smell the bergamot yeah you can smell bergamot you can smell lime it also has vetiver it has sandalwood it has petit grain petit grain it's a note that has a citrus smell so it reinforces the bergamot and the lime it's very very nice the dry down is super creamy so it's a very polarized type of fragrance if you get past the opening i love fresh openings but some people don't however i would suggest that you try to get past the opening and you will get a super creamy beautiful compliment getter dry down everybody loves this i absolutely love it it's it's fruity it's sweet it has something i cannot identify but it reminds me of when you walk in the forest and there are a lot of pine trees that type of freshness typical from the colder months i would say or from yeah when you go into the forest it's very i wouldn't say it's green because it's not a green fragrance but probably the woodiness here it's so strong that it reminds me of being in you know in the in the middle of the forest oh, it's super super delicious i absolutely love it love it boise fruité i think this is a very typical winter super super cold winter night type of scent beautiful give it a try we come here with Elisa, Girl of Now. This is for my gourmand lovers. Guys, this is a super sweet and gourmand fragrance. This is nuts on steroids. It has pistachios, it has almond, it has almond milk, it has pear, it has orange blossom. It must have vanilla for sure. <laughs> and the almond milk here gives the fragrance a lot of creaminess in fact the almond milk is the note that they sh it shares with rolling in love by killian and they, they are in a very very similar uh vibe and direction so if you can't afford rolling in love go for this one it costs a fraction of the price and believe me it will do the same job it's beautiful it's sexy it's very flirty you have to like sweet very sweet fragrances it's very syrupy it's very thick actually i share with you a trick when you see fragrances that are this uh ambery or dark orange usually it tells a lot about the performance of the fragrance or about the the this molecular structure of the formula when you see fragrances like this you can expect a long lasting formula you can expect a very thick syrupy sweet type of fragrance not necessarily super sweet it doesn't give you any degree of sweetness but still usually fragrances that are this uh, color or this dark amber are tend to be sweet and very long lasting great performance and this is what girl of now is very very nice if you're a gourmand lover you have to try this one so guys when we talk about day night fragrances especially in winter nights two things come to my mind being either by the fireplace or the typical date nights right when you go out you go to a restaurant you go to a club well if you're not in lockdown of course <laughs> hopefully when we get back to normal we will be able to go back to those basic things right i miss them so much but anyway those are the two things that come to my mind and i have a fragrance for you here that nobody talks about but you know i always like to bring you new stuff and this is After Hours by Adzi. So this is a stunning fragrance, gorgeous, very chic, very elegant, very classy. It was closer to Harrods in the UK for a while. Stunning fragrance. This is a very, what I would say, an icy fragrance, quote unquote. You know that I like to use a lot of imagery so you can picture how a fragrance would smell. And this to me is like ice. So if the ice would have a smell, this would be it it smells like ice to me it's stunning it it is a woody oriental woody fragrance technically but yeah it's 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 not strong like the, your typical oriental wood fragrances this is very very musky it's very woody it has datura this is datura i don't know if you know that but datura is a super super poisonous flower of course they don't put the flower here the note is recreated in the lab but it's a super beautiful 
flower, but highly, highly poisonous, absolutely toxic. But it seems it has a, an amazing fragrance and they recreated, you know, to add it here. It also has Ilang Ilang, it has Neroli, it has Frisia. And this really surprised me because Ilang Ilang is a typical yellow tropical flower. And to have a tropical flower as a top note, when on the other hand, this is an icy type of fragrance, it's a typical winter fragrance, really wow me right because you really need a master perfumer to create that how can you add a tropical flower and smell like the total opposite right it means it has been so well done so well blended it will this blew me away stunning fragrance super chic very very long lasting and again this is a typical date night but by the fireplace a glass of wine some cheese you get it so after hours by Atsi. So now we have here another typical Oud Rose combo, a beast mode fragrance, which is Shahaf Oud. To me, this fragrance is everything. This is a 10 out of 10 in all the departments, siage, projection, stain power. I get 10, 12 hours. Massive compliment getter. It's very incense as well. It has rose, it has wood, of course, very, very, very decadent, very syrupy, very thick. It smells very luxurious, very expensive. Massive, massive compliment getter. It's very gourmand. It also has praline and vanilla. And I think those, especially the praline, praline is what is used to fill chocolates or chocolate candy. So the praline and the vanilla together, I think give this fragrance that type of gourmand note which makes the fragrance slightly softer because this is a strong fragrance it's very incensey very smoky as well it's not very masculine it's not like the type of smoke in typical masculine sense in fact this is a unisex fragrance but on my skin it turns it really really feminine yeah it's it's absolutely stunning this is a massive attention grabber so if you want to be the center of attention go and wear this it smells super luxe Shahaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. Another bismol fragrance, which is a Chypre floral, and it's called Moon Dance by Juliet Hassagan. This actually belongs to the luxury line of Juliet Hassagan. It's stunning, it smells very luxurious. It has bergamot, it has violet, it has rose, it has patchouli. Violet and patchouli are really prominent, very prominent. It's slightly musky in the dry down and you can smell some musk here, but it's not that prominent either. It smells very, very chic. And on the other hand, it smells very sexy, but it smells dark. It smells mysterious. It smells very, very luxe. It's not cheap smelling at all. Don't relate it to any other Julia Hassagan fragrances. I love Julia Hassagan. Some people say that some of their fragrances smell cheap. I don't know. That's not my experience. I love the house. And this one smells super, super luxe. I love this. It's very bold, very powerful. It makes you feel like in control, which I love. It's very unique. It's a very unique fragrance. It smells like nothing on the market. And I tell you, I have quite a few fragrances. I have nothing like this, not even similar. I highly recommend you to try Moon Dance by Juliette Hassagan. Now we have here another by the fireplace type of scent, which is Gris Chanel by the House of BDK Parfums. This is a beautiful fragrance, a typical skin scent after two hours, at least on my skin. Remember always that at least my reviews are based on my own experience. And on my skin, after a couple hours, it turns more like a skin scent. That's why I think this is a by the fireplace scent. It's more for a more intimate encounters, it's not loud. I think this is a crowd pleaser. I didn't have enough time to test it to know if it is a crowd pleaser or not because the few times I wore this, people didn't smell it with a face mask. So it's not face mask proof, which doesn't mean anything because it's hard to smell a fragrance with a face mask. There are only a few that are face mask proof. But still, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It has tea, it has fig in the composition, which is a surprise to me because I don't like fig in fragrances and this is my second one probably the fig was what was turning me off because i went back and forth i don't know how many times before purchasing this fragrance but at the end i took the leap of faith purchase it 
and I am super, super happy. By the fireplace type of fragrance, 100%. I think this is a, a crowd pleaser. I can't imagine anyone not liking it. Everybody likes Chris Chanel. Aside from the hype it has, I think it's, it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It's a very, very cozy type of fragrance. Chris Chanel by BDK Parfums. Another one that I love and it's totally unknown, it's Diamond by Fragonard. You know that I, I talk, I did a couple of videos about Fragonard. It's a very nice French house. They are located in Grasse, the world capital of perfumery, and nobody talks about those fragrances, and I think they deserve some love. <laughs> and here I am with Diamond. It's a stunning, stunning fragrance, effortless, chic, very urban, very, very classy, very sophisticated at the same time. It's sweet, it's, a, it's an oriental fragrance. It has caramel, has vanilla, it has orange. <sighs> Gorgeous, it has sandalwood as well. It's very, very, very nice. It has plum, it's gorgeous. Honestly, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It's more like a, it's not really loud. This is like borderline. It's not so cozy as Gris Charnel, for example, or After Hours. This is more like borderline. It's not super loud. I wouldn't say it's like a clubbing type of fragrance, but it's not like the typical cozy fragrance either. It's kind of borderline, but it's super long lasting, super well done, very high quality ingredients. Yeah, go try it. Diamond by Fragonard. And by the way, this is super concentrated. That's why the bottle is so small. Here we come with bond number nine signature scent. Guys, I talked about this fragrance before in my bond nine video. I will link the video here. If you want to know more about this fragrance and other fragrances from the, the house of bond number nine, but this is stunning. Probably this is my, my favorite or one of my two favorites from the house. This is pure perfume. This is actually extract. This is extract concentration. This is a 30% concentration. Usually for the record, other perfumes have a concentration between 12 and 15%. Some go up to 20% and parfum is between 20 and 25, even 28%. Well, this is 30%. So it's extract. It's fragrance on steroids. <laughs> super, super concentrated. For this reason, this is the price tag. It's a little bit higher than the rest of the line. And the thing, what I want to say is that the cost per wear will definitely justify the price tag because a little goes a long way. Really, it's super, super concentrated. This fragrance, it's an oud rose combo, but it's not your typical oud rose combo, if it makes sense. It's different, totally different. You can smell the wood, you can smell the rose, but it's totally different. This is a very urban chic type of fragrance, super luxe, super luxurious, very sultry, very bougie, very over the top. Oh, if this is a heavy heater, I, I tell you, if you want to be the center of attention, if you want people to remember you by your fragrance, if you want to smell unique, go for this one, because this is a thing. Um, this fragrance, we have thousands of old rose combos out there, but none of them smell like this one. Really, this is a great, great investment. And this is not sponsored, <laughs> it's just my honest opinion. I absolutely adore this fragrance. So bougie, so over the top. Super, super sultry. Love it. Bond number nine, signature scent. No wonder they call it their signature scent. Now coming here with Cayelli Deja Vu. Monica Tan nailed it here. Really, what a great job they did. It's actually the name is Deja Vu White Flowers 57 because 57 is the number of times they try and try and try again in, until they get to to create this final juice. So they tried 57 times before they finally create the magic formula. Stunning fragrance. It's a fruity, floral, oriental fragrance with nectarine, pear, gardenia, sandalwood, patchouli. I would say pear, gardenia, and patchouli are the most prominent. It, this is a very sexy fragrance, very flirty as well, ageless. I think this performs really well during the colder months. That's why I made it to this list. 
absolutely absolutely stunning it's a very high quality fragrance very smooth very creamy even the bottle is super high quality it's very heavy very sexy fragrance stunning 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 it also has vanilla and orange blossom but it they are not that prominent you can smell the vanilla the orange blossom is very very you can see it's there you can smell it's there but it's not really prominent either as i said patchouli gardenia and pear are more noticeable stunning fragrance give it a try Kayali deja vu so now i come in here with the last fragrance which is velvet rose and wood by joe malone this is a stunning fragrance super feminine could be unisex because it's not extremely sweet but it's definitely very very feminine this fragrance it's a wood rose combo but it's not your typical jammy rose it's not super syrupy super like thick but it's very creamy this fragrance has a uh, praline in the composition and probably the praline is what is giving this fragrance that slight uh, gourmand note don't expect to find here a gourmand fragrance because it's not but it is soft and it is creamy enough that and sweet enough that you could still get that gourmand vibe is that what you're looking for stunning fragrance very elegant very sophisticated this is something i could only wear in the winter months and the colder the night the better stunning fragrance very very beautiful very velvety i think they could have picked a better name velvet rose and oud by joe malone so guys i hope you enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching if you're a returning subscriber again i want to thank you so much for your support and if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by and especially for making till the end so thank you again so much for watching i hope you enjoy my selection for winter date night fragrances and i'll see you in my next video stay safe goodbye